We are very, very uh, driven to ensure that any tax strategy that we work with for clients, we follow up, we're checking the case law, we're checking into it, okay? One of the more common ones, for example, is the 831B transactions, the captive insurance companies. And are they good? Are they bad, right? There's a wide spectrum of these things, right? There are good ones and there are bad ones, but that one in particular is on the IRS's list. So. If you are a taxpayer uh, working in one of those transactions, an 831B captive insurance company, you wanna go back to your insurance company, I would suggest at least every year and say, give me an update of all the new court cases, give me all of the research, give me all of the documentation, and I would suggest that you do your own, right? 